and welcome. So today we are continuing with our quest to go deeper into intimacy, deeper in intimacy with God. And as we have alluded on the first video this June, that God says we should go back to our first love, come back to God come back to your first love so today we are focusing on knowing god we are focusing on knowing god it is not enough and it will not sustain us to know god at face value it will not sustain us to know god the way we know him now we can go deeper into knowing God. The Apostle Paul says that I may know you and the power of your resurrection. That I may know you and the power of, of your resurrection. There is an analogy that we can speak about when you speak about intimacy with God. And the enemy would want to distort this and make it seem like it's something dirty. But it's not. Talking about a woman and and her husband, husband and wife, the closest example that we can understand that speaks of intimacy. God says the man will leave his father and mother and be cleaved to his wife and the two will become one flesh, right? There will be nothing separating them. There will be nothing in between them. This kind of intimacy is intimacy that is so intertwined that you don't see where the other one starts and where the other one stands. It's like the Spirit of God with our spirit. We don't see where the Spirit of God starts and where the Spirit of man ends when you're a child of God because God says, I will live in you and you will live in me, right? We are intertwined. We are there is no distinction between God's spirit and our spirit when we're together and he lives in us. There's so much intimacy, just like a husband and wife, when they become one, because the two become one, right? And God goes on to say in the Bible, when he speaks about a husband and a wife, the husband knew his wife and they begot a son or a daughter, she knew, like Abraham knew Sarah, and they begot a son, right? Isaac. Adam knew Eve, and they had Seth. Abel, Cain. So when you know someone, you know them in such a deep place that something is birthed out of that knowing right out of that knowing and when we are so intertwined with god when we know god and we are in intimate relationship with god and we are in such a relationship where he tells us things mysteries the bible says who can know the mind of a man except his spirit Likewise, who can know the mind of God except his spirit? The Holy Spirit searches the mind of God and he makes those mysteries known to us. Hence, when you know God, that I may know you, that I may know you, it's deeper than just face value. It's deeper than secondhand revelation from other people. You know him for yourself and you give birth to things that when you are intimate with God and you are in that closet with God and he begins to deposit things in your spirit and suddenly you have a vision, suddenly um, you give birth to a ministry, suddenly, excuse me, Suddenly you give birth to a ministry, you give birth to a business, you give birth to that book, you give birth to that, to that idea, whatever it is, he downloads these things because you know him. Otherwise, how can he even, how can you even hear him? Because when a husband and wife are intimate and they know each other, they laugh at the same thing, even without the other one speaking, just by one look you know what the other one is saying, right? And when you spend time with God in the word, when you spend time with God, communing with him, we hear and recognize his voice because there are so many voices, right? 
But when you know his voice, the Bible says, my sheep know my voice. We know his voice. There is no voice that, that can camouflage and come and lie to us because we will recognize it. We spend so much time with the Lord that we recognize when we, we know when he, he speaks that this is my father's voice. That's what we are coming to. That's what we're doing Today, we're asking God to reveal himself to us in a more deeper level. We want to go deeper with him. We want to know him and the power of his resurrection in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. God, this morning, we pray, Father God, that you, you, you lead us and you guide us to places where we need to go and where we need to come back to you in the heart of worship, Father God. Our posture being a, a posture of worship our posture being a posture where we sit at your feet our posture being a posture of knowing you more than we know you now knowing you even more and more and more communing with you communing with you sitting at your feet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord we thank you Father God in Jesus Christ's mighty name for we know Father you hear us and you have answered us because you say because you said in, in Mark eleven twenty four. 24 so whatever things you ask for when you pray believe that you've received them and you shall have them lord we know that we have them in the mighty name of jesus christ lord we thank you god we thank you that there is nothing impossible with you for you and we know you're not a man that you should lie you're a son of man that you should change your mind what you say it surely stands and we thank you god we give you all the honor and all the glory in jesus mighty name amen and amen